right click network button click open network and sharing center click ethernet 2 click properties button select internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ipv4 click properties button choose obtain an ip address automatically and choose Obtain DNS server address automatically. Click OK button. Click Close button. Click Details button. Copy the physical address and IPv4 default gateway value. Click Close button. Click Close button. Close all open windows. Open any Internet browser, for example, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome. On your address bar, type 192.168.10.1. In the username and password, type admin. Click Setup tab. Click Internet Setup. In When Access type, you have three options to select. Click DHCP Client. In Mac Clone, select Mac from PC. Click Apply Changes button. Wait until 24 seconds reboot will finish. In the username and password, type admin. Click Wireless tab. Click Wireless Basics. Change the SSID or UiFi name. You can customize the USSID in any form. This will represent as the name of your Wi-Fi. Click Apply Changes button. Wait until 19 seconds reboot will finish. Click Wireless Security. In Encryption, you have six options to select. Select WPATKIP. In Pre-Shared Key, type your Wi-Fi password. You can customize your password, minimum of 8, maximum of 64, in any order of alphanumeric. Click Apply Changes button. Click OK button. Wait until 19 seconds reboot will finish. Click S-Tatus tab. Under the one configuration you will see the information, and look for S-Tatus, if link up is displayed, and has an IP address, this means that you are already connected to the Internet. To check if you have access on the Internet, 
try to open any internet browser, and visit any website that you want to access. Let's try CDR King website. 